Okay, 15 was one of your homework questions. That should have been easy, right? <laughs> Maybe not. I mean, so yes, it was in the homework. Um, for those of you who actually did the homework question and read it through the explanation, then you should have been able to do it. But yeah, uh, it's a, this is a new, I guess I would say this is difficult. One, because it's new, uh, this is not one of my reused question. I wrote it new for this semester. And uh, two, the kind of reasoning you had to do for the homework question, it's not something we emphasized in lecture. Um, so it's a type of reasoning that you haven't seen before. So um, I guess here's a one way to do it. It's to, um, it's not really the proper way, but it's the way a lot of times a physicist does things. Let me just show it to you as a particular way of thinking about things. We call it abusing the notation. <laughs> so when you're abusing the notation, it's important that you label the things carefully <laughs> before you start abusing the notation. I'm not sure if it's an actually abuse. I feel like I'm abusing something. Um, so let me express three different variables. There's a variable y indicating position along the vertical axis. And there's the variable x indicating position along the x-axis, right? And there's the variable time, which represents t, which represents time, which is not represented anywhere on the axis. This is a snapshot. Time is represented by letting you know, time flow. And when you let time flow, this kind of moves across, right? All right, so the question is asking, what is the vertical speed of the point A? So it's asking, all right, um, it's asking for this particular combination of variables. It's asking for dy dt, right? Now, you are not given dy dt anywhere. This uh, thing that you are given, you are given wave is moving to the right with the speed 1.0 meters per second. Um, how would you express this in terms of symbols of these dynamic quantities that you have? Like uh, the wave speed. Is it described by how fast y is changing or how fast x is changing? How fast the x is changing, right? kind of in a very roundabout way because no object is moving that way, but the shape is moving that way. But whatever it is, so it's describing, this is describing dx dt, speed along the x direction. So you're trying to somehow get from dx dt to dy dt. So I stare it for a while and I realize all I need to do is cancel out dx and put dy in that place. So the way I can do it is by multiplying it by dy dx. Then, you know, dx will cancel out, and I'll get dy. I call it, so it's called abusing the notation because that's not how it works. But, you know, the, how it actually works is chain rule. So what you have is y is, can be expressed as a function of x, which itself is, is a function of time. So when you take the derivative of this with respect to time, then using the chain rule, you would get you know, derivative of this with respect to time is equal to derivative of this, dy dx, and then derivative of the inside, dx dt. Right? That's how it properly works. But this is a quicker way to get to the same answer anyway, <laughs> kind of pretending that dx's cancel out, which they don't, but you know. I mean, we're not in a math class. <laughs> so, so that's the relationship that's written down here. dy dt is equal to um, the rate at which the wave is moving, or I guess I flipped it around. Oh, well, I'll put it there. Rate at which wave is moving times the slope, dy dx. dy dx. And um, the properly way, proper way to understand where this comes from is through the chain rule. But if you thought it, they, they worked out by these two things canceling out, it's not wrong. It's uh, sloppy, but it's not wrong. No. So uh, realizing this is the biggest part. Once you do that, then the rest is easy. You can estimate the slope of this point 
by you know drawing the line, and you get slope as approximately um, you know for one centimeter of rise, it moves across by about 10 centimeters or so within order of magnitude. So that's the slope. So slope times the wave speed uh, gives you a tenth of a meter per second or 10 centimeters per second. That's what the answer is. So you know, yeah. Uh, don't know how much I would focus on question like this. This is one of those things um, where I'm essentially testing you on trivia, and I do want you to still have the goal. If you were to see the same question again, you wouldn't miss it a second time. But the nature of a trivia question is that um, there are so many trivia questions. You may not see the same trivia question twice. So yeah, I don't know. I'll, I'll have to see. Um, I haven't written my final exam yet. <laughs>